Hey guys, Grady's mom here and today I wanted to do a video for you of my guest bedroom. And this is one of the last rooms um, that we sort of paid attention to. Um, but we have guests, our first house guests coming in less than a week. So we figured it was time to get on that and get it ready for guests. So this room we used mainly existing things that we already had. Um, the first thing we did in here was everything in our house was white. So we painted and we went with a really neutral um, beige color. And you can sort of see it better here next to the white trim. So it's a really neutral beige color. And the bed here, um, the actual bed frame was um, our old bed. I actually purchased it about 10 years ago um, before my husband and I were dating. So it was originally a bedroom set, but we actually had this bed in our old house in New York. So we decided it was in great condition, um, but we just didn't need it for us because we got a new bedroom set. So we decided to why not use it in the guest bedroom rather than buy a whole new bed. So we have the bed frame. We did have to purchase um, a new mattress and new box spring. We went with a higher end mid-range mattress and box spring so a little bit higher than an average um, quality mattress and box spring just because we wanted our guests to obviously be comfortable when they came over uh, the set we purchased at Ashley Furniture and it ran about $850 for the mattress and the box spring the comforter is from New York as well we were actually using uh, this comforter um, with this bed frame uh, the comforter is the comforter is several years old. Um, I want to say probably six or seven years old, and I believe I got it at Macy's. But again, it was a long time ago, um, and it is reversible. The other side is just green and white. Um, however, it looked sort of weird because the walls have the tan and the curtains are tan. So we decided to go with this side of the comforter. And actually, the comforter is kind of discombobulated right now because it's been folded and um, sitting in like an airproof bag for like seven months. So um, it's going to look a lot better once it airs out. But anyways, I thought it looked really good um, with the bed frame. Um, in here we also have a nightstand and then a dresser, which were our actual nightstand and dresser in our um, New York bedroom. So pretty much this room is our New York bedroom furniture wise, um, just brought to South Carolina in the guest bedroom. So we have the matching um, nightstand, which is just this ivory colored um, sort of distressed looking wood with just three drawers and then just a wooden top and this is a really nice nightstand we really love it um that's why we decided to use it in here obviously and then i just put a small sort of table side lamp from ikea um, and then just a candle and just this little bird just to spruce up the nightstand a little bit but i did leave as you guys can see plenty of room if people wanted to put you know their glasses their water their book whatever their phone i just wanted to have enough room for guests to put their things uh, we also picked up this mirror actually today and this is actually a good view of the wall color because you can see above here um, the white ceiling so you can tell better that the color is more rich um, against this uh, mirror and the mirror we got at Hobby Lobby today actually all their mirrors were 50% off I can't I just asked my husband I can't remember I think it was either $59.99 or $69.99 and then it was 50% off of that. So it was either $35 or $30. I just can't remember which right now. I don't have the receipt in my hand. But the mirror I thought looked perfect above the bed. It matches perfectly color wise. It's a little hard to tell, but the colors match really well. And I just thought it looked really nice there. You know, when you walk in, your eye is kind of drawn to that. Then we have these two nice, sunny, big windows. Um, this room gets a lot of sun, so we actually put, um, again, our curtains from our New York bedroom. These are um, thermal curtains, so in the winter, they keep the cold air out, and in the summer, they keep the hot air out, if that even makes sense. But these are the heavy, heavy thermal curtains, which are really good, again, since this room gets a ton, a ton of sun. So a nice view outside the window. 
And we have nothing on this side of the bed because it's sort of tight, so we didn't get another um, bedside table for it. And plus, again, this room is just for guests, so it's going to be slept in very rarely. And then over here, like I showed you guys before, we just have our dresser from our New York bedroom, which matches the nightstand. Again, that ivory color with a nice wood top. On top, just to spruce it up a little bit, I put this glass... Um, I guess you could call it, it looks like a sort of a birdhouse, but it's actually for a candle. Um, on the bottom, you'd put a candle and it has a door that opens right up. And inside, I just put some decorative um, balls from Ikea, which I thought, even though the color isn't quite conventional, I just thought it still worked and it looked kind of pretty. And again, just to spruce it up a little bit, I wanted something with a little bit of height on top of the dresser. And we got this clock here, um, also at Hobby Lobby. And again, guys, I, I don't, I took the price tag off, but I, it was either like $34.99 or $29.99 and then half off of that. Um, or maybe it was like, actually, I think it was $39.99 and then half off that. So it was like $20. And I just thought it was really cool, um, different. Since there's no alarm clock or TV or anything in here with the time, I wanted some kind of a clock. So I thought this looked nice here, sort of when you walk in, and it's just very simple. Um, I just wanted to keep this room very simple, not busy, not overwhelming, just very simple, neutral, and relaxing. And then on the bed, like I said, is our old... Um, our former bedspread and then I just purchased um, this bed skirt it's just plain white really airy and light you can almost barely notice it um, however I just personally um, I think beds in general look better with bed skirts I'm trying to give you guys a little bit more of an angle I just think it makes the bed look more finished. That's just my opinion. Um, so I just purchased that at overstock.com. Overstock it was very inexpensive. I think it was under $20. And it's machine washable. So this is the whole room tour. I hope it wasn't too dark with the sun cutting in and out. Um, and then also guests here behind the entry door. Um, there's this closet here that's a good size closet. I can't open it because I do have some Christmas presents in there. Um, but it's a good size closet with plenty of room to hang clothing and stuff and plenty of floor storage. So I just think it's a perfect size, nice neutral space for a guest to come and feel comfortable or at least I hope feel comfortable. The bed's pretty comfy. Um, and this is it. So I just wanted to share the transformation with you guys. Again, we spent very little money in here because of the fact that mostly everything in here were things that we brought from our New York house. We really, all we really bought were two cans of paint, that mirror, that clock on the wall, that little bed skirt, and then the mattress and the box spring. Everything else we brought from our old home, which saved us a lot of money because if we would have had to buy a new dresser, a new nightstand, a new bed frame, you know, etc., it we're talking, you know, a few thousand dollars. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this just small little renovation or sort of spicing up of our guest bedroom. I hope you guys are all having a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.